known as the Bronze Bomber, introducing Deontay. Wearing black trunks with gold trim, representing his homeland of Haiti, finding out of Las Vegas by way of Laval, Quebec, Canada. He weighed in at 239 pounds. His record stands at 24 wins, one loss and one draw, with 21 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the first ever heavyweight world champion of Haitian descent tonight, making the first defense of his title, introducing the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Berman. Okay, gentlemen, you both my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. So we are set. 12 rounds of championship. A title first held by Sonny Liston back in 63. To break right. America's 17 fight win the streak in major heavyweight title belts. Round one, and this one could very well come down to who lands the first big punch. And the difference in Stavern in this fight is his kids are jabs, and we see that here. He's thrown all jabs in the see of this fight, but hasn't thrown hardly any. It does make a mistake. Stavern can pounce. There's a one-two combination through the guard by Wilder, and another He's one. Keeping that high guard. Ariola hurts Stavern early in their fight. And lead left hook followed by the right. He even told us he was knocked down as an amateur. But throughout 32 professional fights. He's used to guys respecting his power. How is he mentally going to react to this in a few rounds? The veteran Austin House before yeah, he, coming back and winning that fight. He did. Awesome. As Wilder's doing oh, right now. Right up a couple. Having success, but again, oh. Lead right hand by Stavern, and there's a right hand down the middle by Wilder. And there's another right hand that scores through the guard behind left hook by Stavern. Nice left pass. hook by Wilder. But we're going to find out how mentally these guys go. As they have the propensity when delivering the jab to bend down to his side to the right, opening up the opportunity for an out to fight. And now loads up with the right hand behind the guard. Counter left hook. Nice Wilder, there's a one-two by the challenger. Another right hand. And now Wilder pouring on the pressure at the bell. And a takedown at the bell. Deontay Wilder unloaded right hands that have hurt Berman Stavern. And Stavern was ready to go down when he kind of drank fight. Stavern had taken right hands, but these really hurt him. That right hand hurt him. And even though Wilder was kind of wild at that punch. Now Stavern unloading with a catapult right hand. Cutting off the ring was cut off the escape route. Body shots by right hand by Wilder continues to find home for those shots there. Finally, Stavern yeah. ducks underneath. You can't slip a right hand. <laughs> Stavern coming forward, but King kept at bay by the jab of Wilder. You know, they, Stavern and Donhouse didn't think that Wilder could punch it all going backwards, but he has done that. There's a bloody sharp shoot. It's hard to counter you. Right hand, another oh, right. Counter left hook a by Stavern. There's a catch and shoot. There was a catch and shoot. Landed the left hook. And now, Stavern has Wilder. Just move around and barely work. Stavern could be the boss in and being the boss in this round right now, it's just about winning at 10-9. Hey, man, I can There's beat you. a right hand by Stavern, and Stavern catches Wilder with two of those questions. What would happen if someone, as he gets close, He's never been past four rounds. In He's about to win the fifth yeah. for the first time. Well, he countered, and here's a right hand in which he counters with the left hook, a very nice, and here he is throwing a jab to the stomach and then coming with the right hand, and yet another. We're starting to see... Just taking the jab and seeing what's going on. And minute 45 left in the fifth. And the last round was a solid punch, and Wilder didn't cave, so you have to give him credit for that. Another combination with a body by Stavern, misses with the right hand, catches him with the left, and again countered by Wilder. Now measuring him up, straight right through the guard. Last Stavern slips, left hook by Wilder, crowd on its feet. Wilder teeing off on Stavern. There's a right hand through the guard, doesn't want to punch himself out, misses with the left hook. You see Stavern? Stavern.
to Vern, I think. He, now, he had gone through the ropes, and they got tangled up. And at first, it looked like Stavern might have been around as they keep talking to each other. Stavern chatting, but does get in with a beautiful straight right hand. Fascinating to this. Never been down. The Oxford back. Bemo. Bemo. Now the coach of Alabama called him a couple months ago to congratulate him on winning the invested interest. Big sir. left hook off an uppercut by Stavern. And there, faints to the body. Wilder. There's another lead left hook followed by the right hand that scores through. Wilder's guard then goes downstairs to the body. Very much arm punches right now. Nothing what he's made of. Yeah, absolutely. I think lead right hand by Wilder. There's a right through the guard to left, and now Wilder pouring the pressure on. Deontay Wilder continues to just listen to his corner. Circle and land those punches. There's Stavern now with Wilder on the ropes right above us. And that's where Stavern needs to work. And now he's finally working. Left hook by Wilder. Wilder's left hook. Stavern. Wilder's hands are very low and Stavern just can't get there's all right, the again, that catch and shoot. It's harder to react once you're tired and it's later in the fight. Now attacking the body. We, oh, right uppercut by Stavern. Stavern steps away. We're headed to the championship oh. rounds. And Stavern landed the right. Oh, yes. Yes. Right, Even on the inside where we expect Stavern to work better, it's Wilder with the uppercut. And, a, and the left hook, that, and lands a short right hand. Now, it didn't land quite as well as we thought it did when we saw it in real time, but it was And the reason Stavern isn't able to take advantage of Wilder's low hands is because he's been beaten up the whole technique fight. Technique and mechanics has been excellent in this fight. Avoids that right cross from Stavern. Now Stavern finally trying to... Push him, but the fatigue, and obviously the punishment you take yeah. increases that fatigue. Oof. Do that so much. Now, Stavern with the right and left to the body. There's a right hand to the body, followed by the left. Lead right hand. Shot shot Not taking a lot of chances. And, and he doesn't have to. His part of this one stop. going to the 12th and final round is. Look. look. So, the 12th and final round is upon us. Dig down there, man. Dig deep. Dig down there to reach some hate. Dig deep down there. Hard to believe, but here we are. A couple of nuts. Oh. Margin, we would expect the, the official scores would too. Now, why does back himself again? The energy and the wherewithal to get that knockout. He's not even able to get off. Keeps him from setting. That's where Stavern should, but at this juncture in this fight, I guess he can't. Oh, there he is. Back in the, the champion Berman Stavern Ooh. left hook to the body. Wow. Another right hand, the body by Stavern. <laughs> Stavern oh. going the body. Preventing him from getting leverage on his own shots anyway. Is it the final? Yeah, it's a time killer round. Left hook and now Stavern final 10 seconds. Started with the jab, he finishes it with the jab. Yeah, you saw JD's coming in, the manager and trainer. Listen to Wilder, who can't box, he says. And animated, the Oscar tried to get him in the inside. Here, a flurry on the inside. A little bit wild, but he wouldn't get back at him. Again, the jab and a straight right. Sometimes Wilder's right hand has been very wide. Not tonight. Tonight it was straight, and he mixed in other weapons with it as well. Landing even left hooks and uppercuts that were very, very effective. Decade, the new WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Department, that's amazing.